Hey everyone, thanks for coming back to the channel. Got an exciting episode for you today and we are talking sound absorption, all right? Now, we are gonna be building some acoustical panels on today's episode, but before I get started, I wanted to talk to you about why we actually need some acoustical panels. So my woodworking shop, the workshop, is more than just a woodworking shop. I do a lot of filming in here and I've wanted to reduce some of the echo and reverb. Now on some future episodes, we're also gonna be building a YouTube studio and we're gonna make quite a few of these acoustical panels so that we can reduce the reverb, reduce the echo and really make everything sound great. Now there are really two different types of acoustical panel designs that I'm aware of. Uh, you'll see a lot of this first design on YouTube already. This acoustical panel design is made using one by threes with some fabric over the top. Now, one of the disadvantages of using and um, securing one by threes together is you can, you can have some racking, right? And it's, it's a little bit heavier. So the joint here is a butt joint, two pieces together. Um, held together by some screws with the uh, acoustical insulation in the middle. Now this is a uh, rock wool safe and sound. It is um, rated for acoustical uh, panel use. And this is just wrapped with some fabric and has the one by threes uh, butted together. Okay, the next, the next panel that I wanna show you is a different design. This uses a frame structure in the back, and I can actually make two frame structures out of uh, one of those one by three uh, acoustical panel designs. Then I've wrapped it in a quarter inch plywood. Here, I've wrapped it in a quarter inch plywood, and it makes the profile slimmer than the one by three frame structure. The backer to keep the acoustical insulation secure is actually some landscape fabric. And then uh, all we're gonna do is make this box structure and get going. The uh, total dimensions here. So um, before you apply the quarter inch plywood, you're looking at about 48 inches for the rip down one by three. Uh, the total, uh, with here is about, you want this to be 15 inches before you put the plywood on, okay? And so you can rip these down to whatever size, let's say you wanna do one inch, you'll just make this 15 inches total, so um, 13 inches in the center, all right? All right, let's go ahead and get started. So I have enough to make two frame structures here. Okay, but we'll start with one. And in order to join these together, I'm actually using pocket holes. I've done two on each of the connector pieces to support the frame structure. Those screwed in and secure. and secure the other side. All right, and I'll pull a measurement on this. So 48 inches long and 15 and an eighth inches wide. Now, depending on how thick you rip down your one by three or if you're using plywood, depending on how thick you make this piece, it's going to determine your dimension between the two. All right, you want about 15 inches 
um, before you wrap the plywood. That's going to fit. It's going to fit your uh, acoustical insulation really nice. What we want to do uh, before we rip this in plywood is we want to put on the uh, landscape fabric. Okay. Landscape fabric here. Just going to go ahead and roll it out, and it doesn't have to be perfect. We're just going to use. Just going to apply it on there, tack it in place, and be good to go. All right, so to get the landscape fabric, we don't need it perfect. We just need it on there. Okay, We're going to secure it with a um, handheld arrow stapler. I got some T50 staples in here. Go. And cut the excess off with a knife. Now that the frame structure has the landscape fabric on it, I'll show you the back side too. The other side is going to be the inside. This is going to be the back. So we can access screws. We can put a cleat or a bracket on there, however we want to hang these on the wall. Okay, now we're going to attach the quarter inch plywood as the final frame structure, and then we'll wrap all of that in landscape fabric once we put the acoustical insulation inside. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so to wrap this in plywood, uh, what we're gonna do is we wanna make the long pieces exactly 48 inches. So the same length of the frame structure. Uh, for the top ends, we're gonna make them a half inch longer so that it wraps around the quarter inch plywood on each side. Now it's approximate measurements because your plywood thickness may vary and your insulation thickness may vary as well. They make multiple types of the acoustical insulation, so be aware of that. You can always uh, make these a little bit larger, a little bit um, larger, or a little bit more shallow, depending on uh, what type of wood you're using for your frame structure, as well as your acoustical insulation, okay? And I like to apply a little bit of glue on the inside, so I'm gonna do that first, and then come back and secure it with some staples. Now, for the stapler, I'm using this uh, Harbor Freight Bank stapler. I noticed about this is that it drives the staples a little bit deep, even if I vary my pressure. So um, I've actually taken my DeWalt brad nailer tip and they came with an extra one and I placed it on the end. That actually gives me enough offset so that it doesn't overdrive the staple. So uh, in case you're looking at getting one of those, get a check out some tips on Amazon and uh, go from there. All right, I'm gonna be using my boom arm, which has dust collection and air on it. Uh, if you can see it in frame here, I'll do a separate video on that once we add some improvements. Up for that. All right, we'll get this side lined up first. Drive a staple in there. Uh, also going to help with its rigidity as well.
uh, the last two pieces we're going to attach are the end pieces, and then we'll go ahead and throw the acoustical insulation and wrap it all with the landscape fabric. All right, great. Let's go ahead and set the acoustical insulation in and get it all wrapped. We're going to lay out the landscape fabric and get this, get this one wrapped up. Go back to the hand stapler. There you have it, everyone. Reduce that echo and reverb with some homemade acoustical panels. Thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out, and we'll see you next time.